The Fisher Barton Technology Center is the evolution of over 40 years of materials experience and a commitment to innovation. This multi-million dollar facility brings together the technology and talent to improve products, enhance processes, and develop breakthrough patents. It's an investment in the future that's very unique and offers Fisher Barton Group customers state-of-the-art capabilities they won't find anywhere else. Just one of 10 divisions of the global Fisher Barton Group, the Fisher Barton Technology Center is a critical component in delivering innovation and quality that result in products that perform better, longer. The, uh, the, the innovations that we're bringing to the market uh, differentiate us from our competition, but we also have something behind that. The Fisher Barton Technology Center uh, today is really the culmination of 40 years of, uh, of materials expertise and innovation uh, you know that the Fisher Barton Group has uh, built upon. Uh, in 2011, uh, we were fortunate enough to have been able to make the investment to get this uh, the materials lab portion of the technology center uh, off the ground, as well as the mechanical test lab portion. But uh, today, the uh, the Fisher Barton Technology Center uh, is really growing into uh, uh, much more than just a materials lab and a uh, mechanical test lab. Uh, just recently we placed an order for a, another piece of surface engineering equipment. It's going to be a, uh, a laser cladding and laser heat treat system. Uh, it will be installed in the next few months and this really takes our technology center to the next level because uh, we're going to be able to take that new piece of equipment, uh, that laser cladding system, and we're going to marry its capabilities with the knowledge and expertise and capabilities that we have in our uh, uh, materials lab as well as our mechanical test lab and together we're uh, really expecting to develop some new innovative uh, surface engineered coatings and heat treat processes uh, for our customers. My name is Brandon Rose and I am the Senior Research and Development Engineer at the Fisher Barton Technology Center. Within this center we're involved with microscopy analysis, wear testing analysis, mechanical testing and chemistry analysis of basically innovating a lot of the new solutions and uh, research and development opportunities that we're providing for our customers. When you take a look at an application, um, you, you know, you're going to be challenged with uh, uh, a high wear uh, uh, situation possibly. You might be challenged with a uh, component that needs light weight and uh, to be very lightweight and to be high strength. And, uh, or you might uh, have a uh, uh, material that needs to have very good corrosion uh, resistance. So, so uh, we have a, a staff uh, in our materials lab. Uh, we have some uh, materials engineers that can do a very good job doing some uh, initial selections of materials for particular applications. Whether that be application again in uh, uh, agricultural equipment, whether it be uh, application in lawn and garden, whether it be an application in uh, industrial knives and cutting blades. We're always challenged to find the best materials for those particular demanding applications. And uh, we, we, uh, we'll do that initial uh, selection uh, of maybe a few candidate materials. And then uh, we have the ability in our lab to do some qualification tests of those materials and determine if those materials are truly going to be a good fit for the application prior to making full-scale components going out and doing expensive field testing. We do that initial qualification testing right here in our lab to say, yep, this is a good material, here's why we think it's a good material, and here's how we can at least initially prove that this material is going to work well in this application. Uh, another area the lab uh, supports us is uh, in, the, uh, in the selection of coating materials. We're finding that uh, uh, applications are mo demanding, more and more demanding every day, and that uh, uh, traditional engineering materials just aren't surviving. Uh, the applications that our customers are uh, bringing to us. Uh, you know, the heat treated component just doesn't wear as good as it needs to. You can't go any harder with that heat treated component because it'll become brittle. So how do you keep a component uh, lightweight? 
How do you give it the wear resistance that the customer needs? Well, we typically look at putting a coating on it so that we can give with a coating, it's, uh, it's really more than just a coating, it's an engineered surface. And that engineered surface is a combination of uh, the surface properties that you may need, combined with the strength, maybe the ductility, uh, you know, the, of the underlying base component. Oh, oh, and there's cost constraints on occasion too that we'll be doing. Um, you know, we'll drive the cost out of the base component, yet put a very highly engineered surface on it. Well, how do you come up with those engineered surfaces? We uh, we have again materials engineers that select the materials for those engineered surfaces, and then we do the qualification tests right here in the lab to show that those engineered surfaces are um, going to have a high probability of success when we take them to the next level of qualification. Combining the expertise of our engineers and researchers with a truly state-of-the-art collection of equipment, the Fisher-Barton Technology Center supports our divisions and helps our customers deliver performance and quality. The Fisher-Barton Technology Center we are better together.